the south of France, the province of Languedoc-Roussillon. A picturesque little place nestled in the region around Chateau Lastour, but it's also the scene of a truly massive event. Euro Jeep Camp, 500 Jeeps, more than 1,200 people taking part and all squeezed into one weekend. This is where the brand builds relationships with sports mad off road fans. Whoever enrolls at Jeep Camp needs to have good orientation skills at their disposal because with 1,200 people taking part, numerous activities and various starting positions, you can soon lose track of where you are. A logistical challenge and even those in charge can run into problems. Four now have to go to Jeep Academy. Just go along that small path. There's the staff wearing yellow. Yes, that's right. Get on with your adventure. Yes, absolutely. It was only a test, but you are awake. Thank you. Participants at the Parkour Academy get to give the new Jeep Grand Cherokee a good grilling. Marshals make sure their driving technique is up to scratch. On a steep slope, we meet the actor, Till Demterde. He is well known to be an off-road fan and owns a Jeep. I love being in the real outdoors and getting close to nature. Tackling the natural world on wheels is brilliant. I just mean that it isn't an obstacle. I'll just drive through that and I'll drive over that. No limits, a feeling of freedom. That in our civilized world these days is the last adventure going. Das ist so in, 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 der, in unserer heutigen zivilisierten Welt so, so für mich eins der letzten Abenteuer. Fortunately, he's never had a bad accident while driving, but of course, the odd breakdown. Ich hatte mal in der Türkei... I had an axle break on me just before the Syrian border when I was driving in Turkey. It was actually really quite a lot of fun because I really bonded with the local people and they were so friendly and helpful. They sorted me out with replacement parts welded from old pipes. Now I've really got to take care. So, here we go on the seesaw. And then you really have to find the right moment to flip over. It's a game of accelerating and braking. Seems to work though. While Till plays on that seesaw a bit more, let's move on to the tracks with the convoy group. Rule one, lots of water. Rule two, always stay well behind each other. It costs 300 euros to take part in the Euro Jeep camp. Catering, driving and all activities like climbing and quad biking are included in the price. Jürgen came all the way from Frankfurt in his Wrangler. Not bad considering it's got 182 kilometers on the clock. It's a normal 1992 Wrangler. It used to belong to Philip Morris somewhere, and that's why it's red and white. Also, it's been changed a bit with bigger tires. It's four inches higher, and the speed reduction in the differential has been adapted to go with these tires because of this huge torque that it broke. So, what's next at Virus Off-Road? We've got to cover the distance and work out what exactly the car can do. Often you just don't realize what these cars are actually capable of off-road. It's also good company. We help each other out when we're stuck and you get loads of communication with other people. Although in practice there's perhaps not so much communication, the ambition of conquering that obstacle is just too much. So maybe it's just when the camera's rolling. I can't do it. It's a lost cause. Off-road. Not a sport for people who have back problems. That came down to the fact that A, I probably too much air in the tires, and B, that these tires are quite wide and the narrower for this terrain would be better. As soon as you lose the grip out here, that's it, you've had it. 
in einem der Räder, dann äh, geht halt nichts mehr voran. The Qatar tour is more rustic. After a peaceful sightseeing trip around some castles, there's a spot of culture with a cup of coffee in the meadow. Team competitions and orienteering trips are on the cards. And of course, an interest in the cars that have been brought along. That is the Raptor. The normal model is really very shallow and small. Now it has big tires, longer shackles, the leaf springs have been rebuilt. It's almost another car. But sadly, I couldn't make it any taller because of my underground parking garage. I've only got one centimeter of headroom even now, so that's the end of the road. There's nothing more to do. Now the Camel Trophy is no more. Jeep Camp is the last adventure playground for real off-roaders.